has the number one song in America this week, and e- even though yesterday it was announced that his album is now a platinum seller. That is awesome. The same week that he comes home for the Homegrown Show. We went to uh, Barnes & Noble last night, and I thought that the uh, Country People, the, the People Country Edition was supposed to come out on Friday, but they had it at Barnes & Noble last night. Oh, okay, cool. So I was able to sum- thumb through it. and uh, Not worth buying. No, it's pretty good. I mean, did you buy it? Reba McIntyre has a huge house. Did you buy it? No, I was so it's at Barnes not, it's and not worth buying. Not when you read it at Barnes. It's not a library. I don't, they understand. Sell books. I don't understand how that place makes money. Do they make it off the coffee? What are you talking about? Those those big bookstores like that. Because I just you know recently got into reading since I married a teacher. I know, and I'm, she's encouraged you to pick up a book <laughs> once a year. That's right. Yeah. So we frequent the Barnes and Noble quite often. Yeah. And um, but it's just people sitting around like that's a library. Well, they buy those books. I don't think they do. Some of them buy them. I don't think they do. They don't. The, the magazines are. You can tell they're read a lot and, and put back on the shelf. But they buy books. I bet the majority. I, I'm not saying that folks don't buy books because I bought one last night. I bought two last night. Mm-hmm. Um, that was the uh, best of. I bought Hooters that one over and there, what? and then I bought one from the Dave Ramsey. Girls, no, I bought, I bought a finance book from Dave Ramsey. I already had that. I could have given it to you. No, no, I bought a different one. I already have that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, but anyway, mm-hmm. people come in there with their laptops. Yeah, and just sit. And they just sit. They treat that thing like a library. Now, I was wondering, because I haven't been to a library in years and years and years. I know that's surprising. Yeah, well, no, no. But um, do the libraries have coffee shops in them? Because that would be the oh. smartest thing they could possibly do. I don't think so, but it would be smart. I mean, I'm sitting in there thinking, go, going, you know what? Charleston County Library, if they put a, 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 a Starbucks in here. Mm-hmm. Man, this is where everybody would come. Well, they couldn't call it Starbucks. Well, the, you know, they could, they could call, call it, the, it you know, the Star House Coffee. Or, something. You know, something yeah. like that. Just wherever they're making a Frappuccino. Right. I don't know. I, I go to uh, Barnes & Noble a lot. And um, and don't get me wrong. We we spent 30 bucks last well, night. Well, that's we how bought, they stay in business. We bought two two books and, the, and now you can two expense this coffee. one because you brought this in for the show so you can expense this one right it, it, i like this how to be a morning dj <laughs> i like it and i'm looking forward i appreciate you thinking of me when you found this well i wanted to uh, do something for the show you I, know and with really, all this technology that we have now i thought that this would be a way to send us into the next century i appreciate that yeah i uh, no, but you're not supposed to just read the magazine and put it back you're supposed to buy it so it's not worth buying well, I read it. Yo, so it wasn't worth taking home and keeping. Getting maybe him to autograph it next time he stops by to if see it. If you're us. at the grocery store and you see it, yes, it's worth buying. Mm-hmm. If you've already read it at Books a Million or Barnes & Noble, mm. no, just put it back. Okay. Well, he's in this week's Country People edition. He does have an awesome room. I can't wait to go over there. And um, That TV room. Rita McIntosh, Reba McIntyre's in it. Uh-huh. You say she's got a big one? She's got a huge one. Does she really? Yes. Big. House. I mean, how do you know that? Because I saw it. They had pictures they of it? They showed a picture of it right hmm. there in the magazine. Did they really? Big. Like a mansion. And see, uh, Darius's house, I didn't think, you know, it was, I mean, it, it's comfortable and, and, and it's it's big by our standards, but it was by no means a mansion. Well, I mean, it's the same house he's lived in. Well, he's lived there 13 years. 13, yeah, I started to say for years, yeah. That's Hootie money paid for that. And it's and it's not a you know it's not a Kiowa house had, is it? He could have had a no. It's probably a Kiowa. Is house. it a Kiowa it, it's, house? It's that big, but it's not like the mansions that you see with the big time rock oh, stars. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like nineteen bathrooms, right? And, 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 not that yeah. he couldn't afford that because I'm sure he did. Cracked Review, one of the biggest selling albums of all time. But you know he's smart. He's right there behind the, the Piggly pig Wiggly. And, yeah, that's a good neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah, resale is probably good in that neighborhood. He probably does all right. Mm. But his TV room is awesome. Is it? It's got six flat screens, so he can watch every football game wow. all day. And he's in town tomorrow night. In town tomorrow night. Yeah, you need to get him to call us in the morning. He will. Okay. He said it's he would. 827. Uh, we got your second row seats for that show coming up shortly. Don't go away. 